Hello my dear students welcome to this online video lecture on elements of mechanical engineering so today in this video we'll going to study about hydro power or hydro energy before that if you have not subscribed to our channel please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so in this session we'll going to study in details about the introduction to hydro power then construction and working of hydro power plant along with that we'll going to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of hydro power plant and at the last we will going to see the questions on this particular topic which are appeared in the previous university examination as we all know that the water is the most abundant substance on the surface of a planet the energy that is potential energy extracted from water is called hydro power hydro power is a renewable non depleting source of energy in addition to that it does not create any pollution so this hydro power can be produced from either runoff river site or from a reservoir produced by a dam the pictures what you are observing are the example for runoff river site and the reservoir produced by a dam the plants which converts the potential energy of in a water into mechanical work and generates an electrical energy are called hydro power plants or hydro electric plants the figure shows a schematic representation of a hydro electric plant and it consists of water reservoir dam control gate penstock generator powerhouse transformer turbine draft tube and tail race the dam is created with a strong concrete structure so that it has to withstand the water pressure stored in the reservoir the penstock is a long pipe made up of steel or a steel bonded concrete which is used to supply water from reservoir to power house power house is a unit which consists of generator hydraulic turbine and transformer unit So let us see the working of hydroelectric plant. The water is collected in a catchment area during a monsoon season, and it is stored in a large reservoir. And this stored water is allowed to flow through the penstock to the power house. The potential energy of in a flowing water is converted into some mechanical energy with the help of hydraulic turbine. So this mechanical energy is utilized to run the generator. which in turn generates the electric power and this electric power produced is supplied to the required places with the help of transformer and transmission lines after the water coming out from turbine it is allowed to flow through the draft tube and water is fed to rivers with the help of tail race so this is how electric power is produced in a hydroelectric plant so let us see the advantages of hydro power plants or hydroelectric plants the hydro plants are a renewable energy sources the hydro power plants does not release emission into atmosphere as there is no burning of any fuel involved in this complete process so there will be no emission of gases into atmosphere the hydro power is a most reliable and renewable energy available as we have discussed in the introduction the water is a most abundant substance on the planet so the hydro power is a most reliable and renewable energy available the hydro power plants requires a less maintenance so these are the few advantages of a hydro electric plant so let us see the the disadvantages of hydroelectric plants the hydro power plants or hydroelectric plants are extremely expensive to build because it need to require the large dams and a huge construction so they are little bit expensive to build the hydro plants have a environmental impact even though there is no pollution created but it will have a environmental impact on the surrounding areas where this plant is created or dam is created 
so it will have some impact on the surrounding area the construction of dam affects the natural flow of rivers as we know that the rivers will be having its own way to flow along the its path but when we create a dams so it affects the natural flow of a rivers the performance of hydro power plant could be significantly affected by drought so these are the few disadvantages of hydro power plant so let us see the questions on this particular topic which are asked in the previous university examination now these are the few questions which are repeatedly asked in the university examination the first one is the write a note on hydro power uh, so that will be asked for 5 to 4 marks then with a need sketch explain the hydro power plant so that we have already discussed so it is for 10 marks and the write a note on hydraulic turbines used in a hydro power plants so that is kaplan and uh, francis turbines are used and you need to explain those thing for 5 marks then what are the different parts of hydro power plant explain in details that is asked for 10 marks that is dam reservoir pen stock then turbine transformer generator draft tube tail race you need to explain these all parts then list the advantages and disadvantages of hydro power plant so this we have already discussed and this will be asked for 6 to 8 marks so hope you have uh, understood all the con uh, complete details about the hydro power plant still if you have any doubts you can comment it in a comment box and we'll try to solve your doubts